In this video, I'm going to be building LEGO Minecraft bases as a noob and going up to building as a pro. You do not want to miss this last base, so watch this video until the end. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and share it to a friend who also likes LEGO Minecraft content. So without further ado, let's build the new base, which is just gonna be a dirt hut since most beginner players sleep in these in their first night. And here's the dirt hut. Now let's put the noob inside. And here's the full noob experience out of LEGO. So this guy is such a noob that he forgot to add a door into the entrance of the dirt hut and to my calculations, he's in big trouble. So the next thing on this list is the beginner base. So for this beginner base, I kind of want to build a little castle since it's pretty easy to build and it looks pretty cool. So this is the shape I decided the castle to be. And after that, I added some windows to give the castle more life. And after that, I added some ladders going up to a second floor. I just finished the first floor. Now let's build the second one. Now this second floor won't have any walls, it's just gonna be some little balcony section for the beginner to snipe some mobs during nighttime. The castle is almost done, now let's add some lighting to avoid mobs from spawning. Now that everything's lit up, let's add the beginner and some zombies for him to kill. Next, we have the Decent Player House. So for the Decent Player base, I'm just gonna build a house with a bunch of stuff that a Decent Player would have. Here's the entire inside of the house done. Now let's build walls around it and a roof on top. For the wall, I use birch wood to give the wall a little character. And for the corners, I just use some plain oak logs. After that, I started building the roof. You guys can see that the roof is inspired by these taiga village roofs. It's just a bunch of logs stacked into a triangle shape on top of the house, which looks pretty cool. I really like how that roof design looks. Now let's add some minifigs around the house. And here is the full decent player experience out of LEGO. Here's a quick 360 of the decent player house. And now let's move on to the last house of this video, the pro house. So for the pro house, I decided to build a really big tree house in a jungle. You could already see that I've already built the jungle terrain. Now I just have to build the treehouse on top of it. Since this thing's gonna be really big, I kinda wanna draw what I wanna build before actually building it. Quick disclaimer, I do not know how to draw at all. If I was held at gunpoint, actually, and someone told me to draw something, I would probably fail and I would die on the spot. So just ignore the drawing, just it, my, my mock's gonna look much better than the drawing, I promise. So what I wanna build is a watchtower and a house next to each other and I want a bridge to make these connect so that the player could go from one to the other and I want the watchtower to be like some sort of tree. So now that I've planned everything out, let's start by building the watchtower. These three pillars form together to make a wall with ladders on it because there has to be a way for Steve to go up in the treehouse. Now let's build the room of the watchtower. This is really inaccurate and the reason for that is because this is a really cool play feature that I'll show later in this video. Since this is a pro base, I kind of wanted to make it a little more textured. So I added some profile bricks to show off that these are logs. And I did that for the rest of the watchtower room.
let's light this place up to avoid mobs from spawning. To make this look like a tree, let's add a roof made out of leaves. And to make it look like a jungle tree, let's add some vines. Now let's add this cool roof. Watchtower done, now let's move on to building the base of the house in front. Under the house, I kinda want a barn to be there for the pro to get some food to do his pro things. And it also makes the underside of the house less empty. Now let's start building the house by adding the base onto the barn. Now let's start building the bridge between the watchtower and the house. To avoid this thing from falling apart, I used a bunch of Technic bricks and beams to make this thing really sturdy. Then I started building around this Technic contraption, forming the bridge. Then I added a balcony that connects to the bridge. Now let's build the inside of the house. Since this is a pro base, I had to add an enchantment room with a bunch of bookshelves and an enchantment table. Then I proceeded to add a bed, a furnace, and a crafting table, and in front of all of that, a large chest. Then I tiled the floor off with medium nougat, and at the same time I added wooden stairs, because there's gonna be a huge balcony on the roof. But before that, let's build the walls of this house. These walls are made out of bamboo wood, and my design of bamboo wood out of Lego is sandwiching two masonry bricks between some tan plates, and the corners will be made out of the jungle logs used earlier. And at this point, I ran out of both the dark tan masonry bricks and the reddish brown profile bricks. So for the back of the house, since no one's gonna see it, I'm just gonna fill everything with reddish brown bricks. I'm also gonna add an item frame with an elytra on it. Now let's build the roof slash balcony. And on this balcony, I want there to be a crop farm. Now let's add it on the rest of the house. Now let's finish this bridge by adding fences around it. Now let's add some additional details like this tree and some extra torches to light up the rest of the place. Now the remaining thing to do is add the minifigs. Now let's take a look at the special play feature I've been teasing this whole video. So if you take a look inside of the watchtower, you could see a little bit of string. And if you attach Steve on that string with his helmet, that makes him hang from the string. And there's a special mechanism in the leaves where if you turn that gear, the string will go up and down, which makes Steve go up and down the ladder. If you guys enjoyed this video, Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and comment your favorite base of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when I turn Mr. Beast's Emerald Collection into Lego. Oh, my son.